Hello children, welcome to the online class. This is Gayatri speaking. Class 3rd standard, subject, social studies, topic, chapter 10, means of transport. Okay, in the last class, I have explained about the means of transport. Means of transport, which all the means of transport? Scooter, bicycle, rickshaw, car, bus, train, ship or aeroplane means there are mainly three types of transport land transport water transport and air transport okay and how we will choose according to the me uh, depend on the distance to be traveled the money we can spend and the time available okay this much i have explained in the last class today i am continuing with the first type of transport that is land transport land means on the earth okay land transport means the vehicles or the means of transport move only on land are called land transport the vehicles which move only on land or the means of transport which move only on land are called land transport examples of land transport are trains buses Cars, tractors, trucks, scooters, bicycles, etc. Right? I have given the pictures. All the, all these are land transport. So, once again I will revise. Means of transport move only on land are called land transport. Okay? Now, other than the vehicles, we also use some animals for means of transport which are they as we know bullock bull horse and camel okay these are the three animals even donkey also so these are the animals we use as a means of land transport okay have you seen in villages yes all three we can see in villages bullock cart camel cart and Tonga horse it is not a horse cart it is a tonga okay all these three animals also used for land transport because as these animals can carry huge goods and people to move from one place to another place so these are we called as a land transport so tongas bullock carts and camel carts are also means of land transport okay Now, why we prefer land transport? Land transport is the most common means of transporting people from people and goods from one place to another. Goods means things, heavy things, okay, having more weight, okay. So, huge amount of things, huge goods to carry from one place to another place. We prefer land transport, okay. Land transport is the most common means of transporting people and goods from one place to another. Okay. Have you seen the lorry? Okay. In the, on the lorry, they will name it as a goods carrier. Right? Means the lorry can carry very huge weight. Okay. To transport the things from one place to another place. Very far places also. It will move. And even the buses and trains can carry more number of people and things right so only we prefer land transport very much and it is the most common means of transporting people from one place to another okay now here i have given the sum of the land transports those are buses scooters bicycle auto rickshaw lorry Tonga and even bullock cart, trains, metro trains, etc. So, these are the some of the land transports. So, once again I will revise. Means of transport can carry both people and goods from one place to another. Right? There are three main, main types of, uh, mainly there are three types of tra transports. Those are land transport, water transport and air transport. What is land transport? Some means of transport move only on land 
or vehicles which move only on land are called land transport example trains buses cars tractors trucks scooters tonga bicycle bullock cart camel carts etc are the means of land transport land transport is the most common means of transporting vehicles because people and goods to transporting people and goods from one place to another okay one thing i am saying you india has one of the largest railway networks in the world okay this you have to remember that is india has one of the largest railway network in the world okay our country has having largest railway network from one place to another to move one place to another railway networks railway nothing but a train railway nothing but a train having the largest railway networks in the world okay so this is about the land transport now remaining two transports are water transport and air transport that i will explain in the next class children thank you have a good day refer textbook keep on study children okay bye